कर्नाटका में बीजेपी लीडर्स और स्टेट मीडिया के जरिए कांग्रेस पर पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद के नारे लगाने का बड़ा इल्जाम लगाया गया है कल सत्तावीस फरवरी को कर्नाटका से सैयद नासिर हुसैन राज्यसभा इलेक्ट हुए हैं और इस मौके पर नासिर हुसैन के फॉलोवर्स और कांग्रेस लीडर्स विधानसभा में जश्न मना रहे थे कर्नाटका स्टेट के मुख्तलिफ इलाकों से नासिर हुसैन के चाहने वाले मुबारकबाद देने पहुंचकर नासिर साहब जिंदाबाद के नारे लगा रहे थे बीजेपी लीडर्स और स्टेट मीडिया नासिर साहब जिंदाबाद के नारों को पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद बताकर मुल्क में इंतजार फैला रही है बीजेपी के जरिए कांग्रेस पर लगाए गए इल्जाम पर कर्नाटका चीफ मिनिस्टर सिद्धरामैया प्रियंका खड़गे से लेकर तमाम कांग्रेस पार्टी के लीडर्स और खासकर नासिर हुसैन ने खुद वीडियो स्टेटमेंट के जरिए यह साफ कर दिया है कि कोई भी पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद के नारे नहीं लगा रहा था नासिर हुसैन के चाहने वाले इस मौके पर नासिर साहब जिंदाबाद के नारे लगा रहे थे बीजेपी इन नारों को तोड़ मड़ोड़ कर पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद बताकर इंतजार फैला रही है कर्नाटका चीफ मिनिस्टर सिद्धरामैया ने मीडिया से बात कर कहा नारे लगाए गए वीडियो को फोरेंसिक टेस्ट के लिए भेज दिया गया है और बहुत जल्द बीजेपी की साजिश का पर्दाफाश किया जाएगा कांग्रेस के कई बड़े लीडर्स ने बीजेपी पर आरोप लगाया है कि बीजेपी और गोदी मीडिया हमेशा से इलेक्शन के खरीब कुछ ऐसे हथकंडे आजमाते हैं जिससे मुल्क में इंतजार पैदा हो और हिंदू मुस्लिम के बीच जहर घोल कर इलेक्शन जीता जाए नासिर हुसैन के लिए लगाए गए नारों के वीडियो को अगर आप गौर से सुनेंगे तो आप खुद समझ जाएंगे कि पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद नहीं बल्कि नासिर साहब जिंदाबाद के नारे लगाए गए थे बीजेपी लीडर्स कर्नाटका स्टेट के मुख्तलिफ इलाकों में कांग्रेस के खिलाफ एहतजाज कर रहे हैं इस मामले पर कांग्रेस पार्टी से राज्यसभा मेंबर नासिर हुसैन चीफ मिनिस्टर सिद्धरामैया आईटीबीडी मिनिस्टर प्रियंका खड़गे ने क्लैरिफिकेशन के साथ बीजेपी को मुंह तोड़ जवाब दिया है कांग्रेस पर बीजेपी के जरिए लगाए गए इस इल्जाम पर आपकी राय कमेंट कर जरूर लिखें। This video presented by Inspire Global Group Institute. Learn to succeed. Institute offers a wide range of professional and technical courses. Currently offering 20% discounts. Visit for details and free career counseling at MG Road, Adarsh Nagar, Kalburgi. As uh, some of our workers, supporters, and some people uh, were celebrating the victory of three candidates, I was there in the midst of them, and then uh, lots of slogans like Nasir Hussain Jindabad, Nasir Khan Jindabad, Nasir Saab Jindabad, Congress Party Jindabad and all were being uh, raised by some of the workers. Uh, then all of a sudden when I, when I was uh, leaving uh, to my house, then I got called from the media saying that somebody has read slogans of Pakistan Jindabad. I would like to say here that when I was there, when I was in the midst of the people, there are lots of slogans that were being uh, shouted there. But I never heard uh, a slogan called Pakistan Zindabad there. Uh, but whatever it is, we already asked the police and uh, let the police investigate it. If somebody has given, has raised such a kind of a slogan, then it has, then he has, he has to be uh, dealt with sternly and strictly according to the law. There should be an inquiry and in case if somebody has mobbed the video, if somebody has doctored the video and played up mischief, even that has to be inquired. Or if somebody has given the slogan, who is he, from where did he come and how did he uh, enter uh, uh, the premises there and, and what was his intention and motto of shouting the slogan should also be seen. But as far as I am concerned, when I was there, there was no slogan that was shouted in uh, this kind of a slogan shouted there uh, because uh, in case when we were there if this slogan was raised then I am sure no sane people, no uh, Indian, no citizen of this country would have tolerated it. So let us wait for the inquiry and whatever comes out will be there in the public domain. Thank you. BJP is desperate after their loss. They, have, they did not find anything. It's very clear in the audio that they say Nasir Hussain Zindabad, Syed Saab Zindabad. This is nothing but a desperate measure for the BJP to get back into the game. They will go to any extent to please their masters, the RSS and their high command, even at the cost of rupturing the social fabric of a state like Karnataka. We have got, I, uh, the party has done an audio forensic uh, check and it is found there is nothing like that. The government's FSL uh, report is uh, uh, is expected by 11 o'clock. We will issue a formal statement. But BJP, as usual, are up to their standard operating procedures when the uh, elections are around the corner. BJP is alleging that the action need to be taken against the person who raised alleged slogans. We are saying there were no slogans raised. What happened in JNU? Was it proved? What happened? Where is the Tukde Tukde gang? 
what happened to the tukde tukde gang mr amit shah has told on the floor of the house that there is no institution called tukde tukde gang we, we don't know who their leader is this is nothing but uh, bjp's uh, fragment of imagination that they are pushing whenever the election comes how many times have they told that pakistan pro pakistan uh, slogans have been uh, issued but has uh, you know not even a single one has been proved so far so it means that amit shah is the most incompetent home minister then the allegation by bjp it is an allegation by media also if she will send the voice report to the fsl if report comes and it is true that somebody has uh, made a slogan that pakistan jindabad such person will be punished seriously this video presented by inspire global group institute learn to succeed institute offers a wide range of professional and technical courses currently offering 20% discounts visit for details and free career counseling at mg road adarsh nagar kalburgi